Okay, we got two Y plates. Uh, we're going to start assembling these. They are mirror images of one another. Uh, so we're going to start with the smooth rollers and then we'll do the view rollers and we'll be going from there. I've tried to set out the parts here uh, so we're all ready to go. Shouldn't take uh, a few minutes. These go together uh, oops, similar to the uh, other rollers we put in. Those are in. Now we'll do the V-wheels. We'll do the fixed ones first. So screw, washer, and nylock. And these holes here. Okay, we'll go through tighten everything up and do the same to the other plate. Okay, we're all tight and symmetrical. Now for the stepper motors. I've already uh, positioned the pulleys on the stepper motors, uh, just like before. So we're uh, pretty simple. This goes here, wires oriented toward the bottom. Okay, motor's on and tight. Okay, this is now the left plate because of how things are oriented, the cut, and now we're attaching it. This is a male end drag link, and again, gets attached on the left plate. Now we're going to mount two terminal strips, one there, one there. Very simple. So now we're mounting the x-axis limit switch on the left-hand side plate. Okay. Okay, now these are maker slides, one with the uh, logo. And we're going to attach here at these two screws, like so, like this, with self tapping screws. We're going to use uh, anchor lube on them. It's nice and uh, easy, it's clean, and uh, works pretty darn good. to get the right driver. These are Torx. So they, get, they provide a Torx screwdriver. Okay, we we'll just, uh, then the next one goes in the goes with the slots right here okay we have the one end on and now we're going to slide on the cross slide here these aren't fully tightened on the other end so it made it nice and easy to uh, slide on there See, now we gotta get this on there. I 
I was going in nice and easy because I had already I put this on and then took it off so all the screws were so it just went together uh, easily I want to tighten up this one that's not adjustable now because one thing I'm going to do when I have this all together and with the waste board all mounted together I'm going to make sure that my spindle is square with the table with the waste board by do, uh, adjusting these now one thing I did do on the end of these rails where the screws go right here these self-tapping screws I took my countersunk hand countersunk and just countersunk that hole a tiny bit when you use self-tapping screws, it pulls the, the metal out a little bit, and this will not sit flush right away. But if you do a little clean countersink, and it butts up tight and square. Notice how I just slightly chamfered that. Just by hand. Just hardly anything. Just a little bit. I'll do that on all of them. Okay, we're going to make the Y-axis. Uh, first, we're going to make some sub-assemblies. And we're going to attach these end plates on two of them with the self tapping screws. Anchor Lube is a nice product. It um, works really well in aluminum for this sort of thing. Um, it's uh, water based, so it's easy cleanup. It's not oil, so it makes it very nice. Okay, now we're going to slide these in, our y-axis. go <laughs> couple of uh, these T nuts go in Okay, we're going to put the other end plates on and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, I've cut the belting. I've already installed this belt and that side belt with one more belt to go. And uh, this is really not very difficult to do. So just uh, follow the instructions uh, pretty much on that. It's pretty easy. Those will probably stretch overnight and uh, a little bit, and we'll probably have to retention them anyway. So that's why I just left that one long. But all the rest are, are good to go.